This is very exciting. We have Nathan Fillion on the line. He is the star of the soon-to-be-released film Slither, directed by James Gunn, of course. He is up for a Fangoria Chainsaw Award for his work in the film. His legions and legions of fans adore him for his TV series Firefly, but tonight we're going to get him to talk about the award and stomp for his winning. Are you there, Nathan? I'm here. How you doing? Hey, Good. How are you? I'm doing all right. Thanks very much. Oh, okay, now I have to ask you, where exactly were you visually? Like, give us a, a visualization. Where were you when you found out about your Chainsaw Award nomination? I was uh, in my backyard having a little barbecue, and uh, James Gunn was in attendance, and he was the one who told me. Wow. Oh, yeah. boy. Right from the director. That's pretty cool. Now, if you want, okay, you're at the, you visualize yourself at the Fangoria Chainsaw Awards, right? Uh, yeah. You're sitting in the audience. They call out you now. You just won the award, dude, not to mess with hero award. Nathan Fillion, come on up on stage, get your award. What are you gonna do? Okay, here's what I imagine. I'll be dressed very nicely, you know, something in a dark suit, maybe some blue in a shirt to bring out my eyes. Mm, oh. Then I, I assume, now this is my first Fangoria award ceremony, I'm going to assume they're going to spray me with blood and guts just before I get on stage and some such. It's going to get me in the mood. Okay. I, I, I assume that's going to happen. That's hard. I sure hope so. I can, I, can, I can have my hopes. Yes. Now, I'm going to get up there, and uh, I'm going to start with the people I'm, I, I'm sure I don't want to forget. You know, you're going to go with God and your parents and all that kind of yeah, stuff. Yes, okay. Uh, but then you're going to get into the nitty-gritty of it, and then you'll get into all the stuff that, you know, grossed you out throughout your life, like uh, the time you were on the bus when you were in fifth grade, and you stuck your fingers down Cam Jermaine's throat, and he threw up everywhere. Right, right, you right. Know, like that kind of stuff. That's going to have to come up. Do you, uh, do you see getting the hook after about ten minutes of that? You know, I don't. I'm, I can't. I can't tell what kind of music they would play to play me off. But <laughs> as long as you're louder than the music, I think you can really handle it. Yeah. Now, you, whatever you, podium is there, <laughs> make sure it's bolted down. You get a grip on that podium. Exactly. But you've already won an award for your work in Firefly in 2002, right? So being nominated for a prestigious award like this one, the Fangoria Chainsaw Award, it's nothing new to you. <laughs> yeah, I got the uh, I got the Saturn Award for Man of Tomorrow. That's pretty wow. cool. Yes, but which what, is what I found out after the award was tomorrow never comes. Oh, <laughs> but I got the award. But hey, Nathan, award? if if you do win a chainsaw, where are you going to put it? Uh, my mantle. Okay. Yeah, it's got to go to the mantle. Absolutely. That'll now, work. now, what is your fan base? Okay, the Firefly fans, uh, Serenity fans. What has their reaction been to Slither? Uh, you know, they're always extremely supportive. They're always really good. You can always count on those. They call them brown coats. You can always count on the brown coats. Okay, now, uh, wait one second. I, I don't know what a brown coat means. Can brown you coat, it, it refers to uh, the, 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 in the show Firefly, yeah. we fought an independent war. It was the alliance against the independents, and the independents wore brown coats. Okay. They were simply referred to as brown coats. Okay. Like the English were referred to as red coats. Right, right, right. Gotcha. So, uh... You, you can always count on the brown coats. Mm -hmm. there, there was one, I did an independent film not too long ago called uh, Waitress, and as I pulled up for my first day of work, these two guys came sprinting up to me saying, man, we just saw a press release or some kind of special advanced screening of Slither, and one fellow, I got to tell you, he was head to toe tattoos of zombies. Now, I know there's horror fans out there, but this guy had, like, his favorite zombies, you know, his tattooed on his calf, and this one over here on his thigh is this zombie from this movie in 1972, and all the way up to his neck. This kid, wow. that's the kind of fan he is. And I said, Did, what does your mom say about all this kind of... She said, well, she bought me my first tattoo. She said, if I was an honor roll student, I could have a tattoo of a zombie. Wow. Now, I think the next question should have been, where is there room for the picture of me? Right. Now, you know, that should have been your next question. I had to be some sort of, it, there was a kind of a disgusting kind of a, a scale. You had to have a certain amount of disgust with you, you know, going on <laughs> to be on this guy's body, apparently. <laughs> We're talking. Pete Snyder was there. Really? Wow. No, I'm teasing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Trying to make <laughs> He's jealous. everywhere. He's everywhere. <laughs> We're talking to Nathan Fillion, who's uh, the star of Slither, and he's up for a Fangoria Chainsaw Award, which is so exciting. Oh, my God. I just, I hope to see you on stage that night. This is going to be so much fun. Now, you have to tell us, what was it like working with Slither director James Gunn? That was pretty cool. You know, James Gunn is the kind of, uh, he's like that, um, 
I picture him the kind of same kind of director as they had like in the Roaring Twenties when there was no sound in the <laughs> in the pictures, you know, because he'll be off off the side and he'll be watching in his little monitor and he'll scream out, "Okay, you're really really scared, right? No, not that scared. <laughs> okay, now you're upset with her. You're mad her. Oh, even more mad. Now you're really angry. Now you're confused. Now you're, now you're happy. Now you're not happy. that happy. Not that happy. Was it was it confusing for you <laughs> no, as an actor? It's brilliant. It's actually quite brilliant. It's actually quite funny. <laughs> um, it's just a different way of going. You know, he's 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 very collaborative. He's very cooperative. He's very he, he keeps a real easy tone on set. But he's the guy who will holler at you from the from the sideline. Don't suck this time. Don't right, right, right. <laughs> suck less. Yeah, suck right. less. Suck less suck this more. time. <laughs> he said, "Well, he says suck more, but that's usually to uh, Michael Rooker." He said so. <laughs> yes. But that's another story.